What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we are going to be talking about a pretty big change that could be coming to Team Deathmatch in Black Ops 3. So well, obviously TDM is the most popular mode in the game and it's the most popular mode in the Call of Duty series. I mean it's been around for nearly a decade now. Think back to COD 4 in 2007. TDM was at the very top of the list when you clicked find a match and it has been ever since. It's just kind of like the traditional no frills. No complications called the demo where you go in there and your only goal is to kill the enemy team, which is uh, a lot of fun to play. I mean, obviously objectives and, and, you know, kind of like other stuff adds more teamwork and, uh, you know, it takes a little bit more thinking and stuff like that. But sometimes it's just fun to mindlessly go into TDM and kill people and uh, focus only on, you know, proving who's the better in a gunfight. And uh, uh, any change to this mode is going to be a really big deal and it's going to affect a lot of people. So I want to let you guys know about this because uh, it's something I've seen a little bit of feedback from the community on recently. And uh, I, just, I didn't know that Treyarch was taking uh, this big of an interest in it. But uh, the other day, David Vonerhaar tweeted out a poll. And he said, Team Deathmatch score limit, go. And the two options you could vote on were either keep it at 75 or increase it up to 100. And uh, as you guys are going to see here, the community voted. And 86% of people wanted to see Team Deathmatch raised to 100, which uh, I think is pretty insane. Like, usually our community is, uh, you know, pretty 50-50 on stuff. Like, a lot of people really like Rejack, and a lot of people really hate Rejack, and stuff like that. But uh, this was an overwhelming response in the yes category, you know, boosted up to 100. And uh, I don't know, I, just, I feel like that's actually a pretty big change. That's adding another 25% of game time to Team Deathmatch, and, uh, you know, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. I want to let you guys know about it, let you guys know that it looks like it's probably going to happen, and uh, kind of get your guys' feedback as well. So, uh, in general, with my experience in Black Ops 3 and playing TDM, I feel like the games go pretty quickly. You know, Black Ops 3, the maps are, are you know, in general, decently small, or at least they feel small. Like, in terms of where you spawn and, and where, you know, the fighting happens and stuff like that, it feels like you're never too far away from the action. So a lot of times, on the smaller to medium-sized maps, Team Deathmatch games will go, you know, anywhere from, like, four to six minutes, something like that, you know what I mean? Like, six minutes would be a really slow one. Then on some of the bigger maps, you know, something like Redwood or Stronghold or stuff like that, Sometimes you'll get in the lobby where it goes a little bit slower and I'd say, you know, obviously I have had TDMs go the entire distance, the entire 10 minute time limit. But I think in general, usually the bigger maps and kind of the slower games are somewhere in like the six to seven, maybe eight minute range. But uh, not too often do I end up ending a TDM, uh, you know, because of the time limit. Like usually it reaches the score limit and that's good because it keeps games moving along and stuff like that. But sometimes I do find myself, especially on those smaller to medium sized maps, wishing there was a little bit more time. Like, you know, it takes like a couple of lives to get warmed up and then I start getting on a streak and then it's like, oh, the game's over. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a disappointing feeling. So uh, it's just like, I'm kind of on the fence here. Like I, I see where extending the time of the game would be beneficial. It'd give you more time to, you know, kill people, more time to rank up, less time sitting in lobbies where you're doing nothing. That's always a good thing to make that happen. But at the same time, I wouldn't want it to result in a bunch of slower games where they don't make it to the full score limit and uh, it ends up ending because of the time limit. That's never the way you want it to be. You want it to be full of action and kind of, you know, quick, fast, almost ADD type stuff. I feel like every single Call of Duty player has some form of ADD. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think in general, this is probably a good move if they did it. And obviously Treyarch isn't going to base this solely off the community's feedback. I'm sure, you know, they are collecting all the data across all the TDM games that have ever been played. And they're looking at it and saying, hey, you know, if we raise it to 100, it's still going to move along pretty quickly. It's just going to give people more time in game and, and less time in lobbies. So, I don't know. I, just, I think it's a good idea. I think I'm in favor of this. But, uh, you know, there is that kind of like secondary, you know, thing lurking in the background where what if it makes it so that especially in those bigger maps like Redwood and Stronghold and stuff, what if those games start going the full 10 minutes and aren't quite as exciting? So, uh, I don't know. I'm just, like I said, I'm kind of on the fence, but I think I'm leaning towards, uh, you know, liking the idea of extending the game time. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like it or don't like it and defend your opinion. And uh, I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two screws. See you yet. Peace out, guys.